Cornell Cooperative Extension Ulster County has relied on volunteers to bring valuable information, education, and tools to the public. The Master Gardener Volunteer Program has 80 active volunteers. Our programs run year-round starting with the winter lectures in February and March, the Philadelphia Flower Show bus trip, seedling sale, and Adam's Spring Show, in addition to numerous talks and classes throughout the year. The jewel in this lineup is their annual Garden Day. This all-day conference attracts a sold-out crowd of 175 participants every year held at SUNY Ulster in April. There was a keynote speaker, a mini trade show, and a choice of 16 classes. We included four demo classes, Hypertufa, Plant-Based Dyes, Designing with Succulents, and Terrarium Gardens Under Glass. The Plant Swap in June was a fundraising event. We made $360 to benefit our scholarship fund, and this year the number of vouchers swapped was 3,000. We had 70 swappers. It was one of the most fun swaps we have had. The quality of the plant material was high, and there were many different plant varieties. We will do it again next year for sure. We began a new project this year with the establishment of a pollinator-friendly meadow on the SUNY Ulster campus to provide habitat for bees and other pollinators that are under increasing environmental stress due to pesticides, industrial agriculture, and climate change. Donna Crawford, who coordinates the Master Gardener Volunteer Program in Ulster County, says this is an experiment to see if we can support and sustain these pollinators by letting a swath of lawn revert to a natural state. If we're successful, we can demonstrate to homeowners and the farmers that with very little effort, they can restore some of the biodiversity that we've lost. To learn more, ask a master gardener. The Horticulture Hotline is open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from March to October, and Fridays only during winter months. Questions can be left on the hotline by calling 845-340-3478. DIRT. The latest USDA Census of Agriculture shows new and beginning farmers now represent 56% of all operations in Ulster County, a 48% rate of increase since 2012. New farmer programs are a department-wide effort that incorporates best management practices in differing facets of agricultural production and operation, land selection and management, and business development in order to help prepare this ever-growing segment of practitioners with the knowledge and skills needed to succeed. The CCE Ulster Ag Department works in a variety of areas ranging from climate change and its impacts on agriculture to emerging trends in order to better serve our communities. CCE Ulster's agricultural issue leader, Christian Malsatsky, handles field crops and small grains in Ulster County and the Mid and Lower Hudson Valley. In partnership with Dr. Mark Sorrells and Dr. Gary Bergstrom of Cornell University, Barley, oats, wheat, rye, and several ancient grains are tested in spring and winter nursery plots to find which have production promise in the Hudson Valley and Southeast New York, as well as show desirable results in the craft beverage and artisan baking industries. He is also a member of the New York State Malt and Barley Education Team, funded by New York State Ag and Markets, in partnership with the Genesee Valley Regional Marketing Authority, which looks at barley production in New York to help meet criteria for the New York State Farm Brewery Act. In ongoing work to provide regional growers with the most concurrent information, this year's Hudson Valley Value Added Grain School event held in cooperation with the Capital Area Ag and Hort team in Catskill, welcomed 76 attendees to learn about the local grain economy and best management practices in eastern New York. Among other field crop and small grains events, a capstone workshop for malting barley was held at Hudson Valley Malt in October of this year and saw 36 growers, brewers, and distillers take part. The small grains research and education in the Hudson Valley and southeast New York also contributes to the annual Bal Barley and Malt Summit held in Syracuse each December, as well as New York State Ag and Markets, Harvest New York, and Cornell Plant Pathology and Plant Breeding and Genetics Labs, and Grow New York City, New York City Green Markets efforts to establish a grain industry and market in the Northeast United States. Locally, this research helps growers, 15 breweries, and several distilleries located within Ulster County so they can continue to expand their businesses and build upon the $83 million economic impact they already have in the county. The CCE Ulster Livestock Program is led by Jason Detzel, implemented by the entire Cornell team, and executed with help and guidance from people like you. Livestock and pasture management education is rain or shine, and our programming, like farming, is shaped by the seasons and adjusted by the weather. 
With the 50% increase in livestock in Ulster County, shown by the most recent Census of Agriculture, CCE Ulster's classes play a more important role than ever in helping new and beginning farmers, as well as established operations that continue to expand. Hey, Jason Detzel, Cornell Cooperative Extension Ulster County, Progressive Ulster Grazers, Diamond Hills Farm. I'm here real quick just with today's tip. We uh, are in the paddock I wanted to be in, so we gotta skip a couple and go somewhere else. But I just wanna show you how I move the cattle. I look at them, I go, yip, yip, yip. And they start walking and following me. No bucket, I will use a bucket sometimes when I'm trying to get some serious uh, motivation out of them. Sometimes, obviously, if they're full and they got all their water in them, they're not usually gonna be motivated to move as much. Plus, you don't really wanna move them in the middle of the day. Um, you need to find times when they're, it's more conducive to their movement. They're a giant animal with a lot of stuff going on inside and it creates a lot of heat. So unless we stress them out during the day, today, like it's gonna be 90 degrees, the better. So it's like 6.30, maybe 7 a.m. Cattle are all watered and uh, just checked on them, so that was good. We had some water issues yesterday. Irregardless, check it out. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go, guys. Yep, yep. Best part of my day. All right, see you guys later. Jim O'Connell has continued his work on climate change programming. In the spring of 2019, Jim joined the Climate Smart Farming Team, a group comprised of Cornell faculty and extension educators, focused on a common goal of helping farmers adapt to a changing climate. On April 6, Jim, in combination with New York Center for Agricultural Medicine and Health, welcomed Shane LeBreak, a Spanish bilingual agricultural equipment consultant to the Ulster County Fairgrounds, for a tractor safety course for Spanish-speaking farm workers. On July 10, Jim held a climate change workshop titled Flooding Happens. This workshop brought in guest speakers from Cornell, CCE, Mohonk Preserve, and NRCS to present on being more flood resilient. The workshop concluded with a field visit to the nearby Wallkill View Farm, hosted by John Ferrante and Wallkill View Farm and led by Jake Wiedemeyer of the Ulster County Soil and Water Conservation District. The farm visit provided real-life examples of farming in a flood zone and what conservation measures farmers take to protect the land. Jim completed another season of monitoring for invasive insects in grapes and spotted wing Drosophila in berries at 10 farms as part of New York State Ag and Market's Cooperative Agricultural Pest Survey, or CAPS, and the New York State Fruit IPM Program Monitoring Network. The monitoring was part of a larger statewide effort to serve as an alert to growers for first and sustained catches of Drosophila. Potential invasive samples were sent to the Cornell Insect Diagnostic Lab in Ithaca for identification. There were no positive samples. Jim continues to update growers on spotted lanternfly, a new invasive insect quarantined in parts of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, and Delaware. This pest feeds on tree fruit, hardwoods, and grapes. It is a serious threat to agriculture in New York State and beyond. He worked with Peter Jensch, director of the Hudson Valley Lab, and lab technician Lydia Brown to develop and distribute a poster about spotted lanternfly. CCE Ulster has delivered a stream management program in northwest Ulster County since 2006. The Ashokan Watershed Stream Management Program works to protect water quality in the New York City watershed by promoting and incentivizing the use of stream best management practices. This collaborative program is funded by the New York City Department of Environmental Protection. The stream program employs four full-time CCE staff and two part-time staff at a field office in Shokan, New York. This year, the stream program reached over 2,000 participants with in-person trainings across 60 watershed programs. In addition, thousands of Ulster County residents were educated through our print and digital publications. One of the largest events we held was a three-day training for 20 highway and stream managers on how to determine flood elevations at bridges and culverts. We often don't think about those culverts and bridges when we drive over streams, but their condition is important to our safety, water quality, and the wildlife living in streams. CCE staff developed a new approach for determining which culverts and bridges in the Ashokan watershed should be replaced and enhanced. The approach addresses multiple management objectives, including channel stability. The results were delivered to local decision makers. Stream educator Tim Koch recently presented the Multi-Objective Stream Crossing Assessment Protocol at the Mid-Atlantic Stream Restoration Conference. In 2020, use of the protocol will be expanded into other parts of Ulster County. 
CCE staff will continue to refine the methods and develop a new program to reach private owners of bridges and culverts with education on best management practices. Another big program is Flood Hazard Mitigation, delivered by resource educator Brent Ghosh in cooperation with Watershed Partners. The two-day training for 44 local professionals, including code enforcement officers and other municipal staff, was how to protect structures from flooding. This includes how to properly elevate or flood-proof a building and how to access funding. The training helps the town of Shandaken with implementing recommendations in its town flood mitigation plan. The plan was updated this year with CCE's assistance. Through a partnership with the Ulster County Department of Environment, CCE will work with watershed towns to obtain federal funds for residents to flood-proof and elevate their structures. In 2019, CCE staff continued a popular course on floodplain management for real estate professionals. We trained 87 real estate agents and brokers who do business in Ulster, Green, and Columbia counties on how to read a flood insurance rate map to determine if a structure is located in a floodplain. Our watershed youth program operating in the Ontiora Central School District since 2010 had another successful year. We expanded our family-friendly stream snorkeling program to include three additional sessions. 48 people learned about streams by taking a peek beneath the Asopus Creek behind the Emerson Spa in Mount Tremper. In total, we engaged 600 youth in nature-based outdoor science activities throughout the year at programs like the Stream Explorers Youth Adventure, Family Fun and Fish Day, Watershed Scientist in Residence, Summer Stream Watch, Fourth Grade Watershed Ecosystem Program, and Elementary School Earth Days. The STREAM program really has big ideas and held 11 new events during the first ever Ashokan Watershed Month. 195 attendees learned about stream and watershed management while pedaling along the Asopus Creek, canoeing the Little Beaver Kill, painting the headwaters, walking the Ashokan Rail Trail, casting a fly rod, attending expert presentations, and planting a stream buffer. On top of all that, our staff developed new educational publications. One is the self-guided Ashokan Watershed Adventure Guide. Accept the challenge and visit 11 adventure stops in the Ashokan Reservoir to win a prize. Answer a question and take a selfie in the watershed landscape and post it online. The guide includes educational descriptions for each stop from the headwaters to the reservoir. Ashokan Watershed Adventure Guides are available for download online and at the Catskills Visitor Center in Mount Tremper. A gorgeously rendered children's book titled Little One and the Water was debuted during Ashokan Watershed Month. The project began when local artists Keiko Sono and Will Little received funding from the stream program. The resulting book depicts a Catskill stream with scientific accuracy and captures the beauty and mystery of streams from the perspective of a child. A series of videos by Keiko Sono explains the importance of maintaining stream buffers. Finally, we've mentioned several times that the STREAM program funds community projects. A five-year community grants program is administered and managed by CCE Ulster. In the last five years, nearly $2 million in project funding was awarded to implement STREAM best management practices. CCE has managed implementation of numerous projects totaling $4.2 million over 10 years. CCE coordinates a research program supporting stream management as part of fund management. In 2019, CCE Ulster renewed its Ashokan Watershed Stream Program contract with the New York City Department of Environmental Protection. The contract continues the successful education program and increases community grant funding for another five years. The renewal of our work in the New York City watershed is acknowledgement of CCE's science-based approach to stream management education, research, and funding, and our successful stakeholder partnerships. CCE Ulster's Healthy Communities Program provides education and support along with policy, systems, and environmental change within the community to enable residents of Ulster County to strengthen families and achieve healthier lifestyles. Here are the 2019 highlights from the Healthy Communities Program. SNAP-Ed, formerly Eat Smart New York, is an evidence-based program that helps people lead healthier lives. This program teaches people who are using or eligible for SNAP benefits about good nutrition, how to stretch food dollars, and how to stay active. SNAP-Ed works by building partnerships with community organizations. Together they create social marketing campaigns, hold nutrition education classes, and improve policies, systems, and the environment of the community. On November 6, CCE Ulster held a free public event titled The Ins and Outs of School Nutrition and Farm to School. 
The event was organized by Live Well Kingston, a former program of CCE Ulster, and the Hudson Valley Farm Hub, with a presentation by Farm to Institution New York State. The event was full with 53 people in attendance, including food service directors, parents, community agencies, farmers, and food distributors. There were four districts represented at this event. The Expanded Food and Nutrition Program provides nutrition, cooking, financial planning, and food safety skills, along with physical activity education for low-income families. The program provides an intensive evidence-based series of six to eight classes. In 2019, we offered an array of fun and popular kitchen classes. Here is an inside look at our South Indian cooking class. Hi, I'm Janie Greenwald from Cornell Extension of Ulster County. I'm here in our kitchen office in Kingston and we are getting ready for our Southern Indian uh, cooking class taking place this evening. It is sold out. Um, this is one of the classes in a series. We offer one to two cooking classes every month. They are hands-on. In the past we've offered knife skills, Asian dumplings, Asian noodles, homemade pasta that we make from scratch. Uh, coming up next will be cooking with ramps. It's one of the treasures of springtime here in the uh, Hudson Valley. Today what we're making is sambar, which is a lentil stew with vegetables, rasam, which is a lighter aromatic tomato broth, and beans carrot boreal, which is a preparation of beans and carrots with spices and coconut used in a savory form. Other food safety programs include the Serve Safe certification class, which is offered for restaurant and commercial food preparation staff, and the Hudson Fish Advisory Program, which provides education on healthy fish consumption. The Relatives as Parents program, known as RAP, is a program dedicated to those who have become the primary caregiver for a relative's child. The families in our program have typically gained custody or guardianship through a social service intervention, a family court decision, or have informally stepped into the role of primary caregiver. The RAP program's intent is to be a support system for these families and give them the opportunity to come together to share experiences, have fun, and relax. The Healthy Ulster Council is coordinated in partnership with the Ulster County Department of Health. The council meets bi-monthly for professional development, collective action, and networking. We also provide input for the Ulster County Community Health Improvement Plan and annually update the Ulster County Health Inventory. We continue to address the effects of climate change on health and wellness through climate resiliency, outreach, and education. One of the outcomes from this program is the development of a flood preparedness guide for residents and businesses on the Rondout waterfront. The guide provides information on emergency preparedness and highlights evacuation routes, shelters, and safe parking in the event of flooding, storm surge, and sea level rise. Our 4-H youth worked really hard this year. Our teens really helped to run the show by serving as ambassadors at our animal barns and in leading our legislative tour for elected officials. It takes guts to give a public presentation in front of our politicians. Speaking of public speaking skills, my name is Carly Bradner and I was in 4 H for 10 years before I graduated in 2019. My name is Paige Badner, I'm her sister. Uh, I'm, this is my 10th year in 4 H. I've been doing public presentations for about nine years now as well, and it has helped me a lot. When I have to do presentations for school, uh, my teacher actually tells me that I do very well because I'm not nervous anymore. It's very nerve wracking to be up there but like knowing that my PowerPoint is so well done because of the process that I went through here, it, it makes me feel a lot better. Did you know that any Ulster County youth ages 5 to 18 can learn public speaking skills by enrolling in this project for free? This year we're rolling out some exciting new categories. Youth in the Tech Wizards program have thrived. Three youth have been part of this program since its beginning in Ellenville, and they became peer mentors to the 35 youth who are currently participating in the program. Youth have been busy doing engineering projects designed by NASA and other fun educational activities. Our specialized vet science and tractor safety programs are firmly grounded in career exploration, workforce development and safety, and we partner with SUNY Ulster Vet Tech programs, thank you Dr. Alden, and volunteer Grant DeWitt to deliver programming. These programs take place from February to April and were filled to capacity last year. The tractor safety course culminates in a tractor safety certification for successful participants. 
This year, we again beat our ag literacy prior record, reaching 1,368 children in 67 classrooms throughout Ulster County through the help of volunteers. This year's theme highlights food production and direct marketing through farmers markets. Can you help us grow this program for the eighth year in a row? Let Mary Lou know if you're interested in reading and doing an activity during Ad Literacy Week, March 16th through 20th, 2020. This year, we took 15 youth to Cornell for the Career Explorations Program. This program keeps our 4-Hers connected to Cornell and gives them hands-on career exploration learning opportunities. Isabel represented our county at 4-H Capital Days where she learned more about our state government and spoke to Senator Metzger to tell her story and ask for an increase in state funding for cooperative extension programs. CCE Ulster County 4-H is the proud recipient of an after-school grant that is now offering after-school programming five days a week at Kingston High School. Through our vibrant partnerships with Bard Center for Civic Engagement and other community partners, we are providing programming including debate team, expressive art, civics, sustainability and environmental education, and STEM skills. Planned future programming will include filmmaking and careers, peer tutoring at the Y, and mindful meditation. Bard Master Art and Teaching students are also providing individual and small group academic tutoring, all for no charge. Let any high school students you know to check us out at Every Day in room S214 off the library.